Welcome to The Adult Man. My name's William. Today I'm talking about seven things that every man must own before he turns 30. So don't even think about turning 30 before you watch this video. Let's get into it. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. Super helpful for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. So as I said, we're talking about seven things that every guy needs in his life before he turns 30, man. These are the things that are, these are rites of passage. You got these things. It means you're becoming a man. You're a self-actualized adult, which is what we're all about. Kicking off this list at number one is an awesome book collection. I'm not talking about crazy, leather bound books that come off of a shelf and you open them up and they're covered in dust and they fly into your face. I'm talking about just a few books that you tend to go back to over and over and over again. Now this speaks about who you are as a person. It tells other people what you're all about. You can learn a lot about somebody from their book collection. You don't want people coming into your house or apartment. They see you have just like a, a raggedy old book collection or you don't collect books. That also says something about you. Now, a great place to start if you don't have a big book collection. I have a list of essential books for guys under 30 up there, but some of my favorites that I go to over and over and over again, uh, actually, I'll just give you my top favorite is The Alchemist. Now, this book is all about self-actualization, what you can do with your uh, willpower. And so I really recommend that book. Before you turn 30, you got to nail down a signature scent. What's that? Basically a go-to cologne that you wear every day or almost every day. You can have different colognes for when you go to work or for when you go out on dates or whatever it is like Friday night. You can mix and match your scents, but basically by the time you're hitting 30, you wanna have a signature scent. One of my go-to places is Hawthorne. You go to their site, you fill out a little questionnaire and they will customize two colognes for you, one for work, one for play. These are pretty straightforward colognes. There's nothing like, they're not too complex, but they're masculine and the colognes are great. So it's a solid value. If you're looking for a signature scent that's a little bit more outside the box, I recommend going with Etat Libre de Orange. They are a Parisian perfumer. They make some pretty, they're not crazy, but I will say they're super complex, much more dynamic than Hawthorne, uh, but they're also much more expensive and dynamic might not be what you're looking for. Uh, Hawthorne, you're getting like a pretty simple, straightforward aquatic smell. And that's actually what I go for most often because it's straightforward, but special nights, special occasions, I bust out something that kind of morphs and changes throughout the day, throughout the evening. So now you're a super smart brainiac with all your book collection. You smell like a boss with your cologne. Maybe you're thinking about buying a house in your thirties. You don't know how much work that's going to take. And that's why you're going to need a baller pair of work boots. Now, today's video sponsor is Ariat, so I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video. This is the Ariat Work Hog. Uh, this is waterproof. I picked mine up with a composite toe because I love to drop bricks on my feet. And so this covers me in that situation. Uh, in the backyard, it can get really muddy, it can get wet, and so I have no problem because this is storm welted. Now, the outside is treated with a waterproofing uh, spray, so the leather doesn't ever discolor or morph or anything like that. And then this outsole is insanely rugged. The interior has Ariat's proprietary ATS comfort system. So it's super soft and squishy. There's no breaking period, uh, super breathable, even if you're working out in the heat of summer. So here it is, Ariat Workhog baller boots. So you're working like a dog, you're done for the day. The fourth thing that you need before you turn 30, this is gonna pay dividends throughout your 30s, is just a sim few simple tools to build your home bar. Now, something like a Boston style shaker, that's gonna cover you for almost any drink. You know, you get the little uh, strainer here, a uh, Japanese style jigger, and a nice set of glassware. Now, this is gonna have you looking like a champion. If you have a lady over, you're gonna make her a drink, or you just have friends over for a small party. It's that le next level of refinement, something that you wouldn't have had in college, you know, back you're used to the red solo cup. Now it's time to throw those away. You're 30 now, load yourself up with an awesome set of barware. So it's cool to make a sweet drink. You know what's even cooler? Making a sweet drink in a tailored suit. One of the easiest ways to command a room when you walk into it is just owning a suit that fits really well. So again, 20s, you don't need that old stuff. You don't need that that old Macy's blazer that came off the rack. 
it's time to invest a little bit of money into a suit that fits you perfectly. The sixth item you need before you turn 30 is an awesome watch. Now there are several different ways you can do this. If you work in an office and want a dressier watch, investing a little bit of money into a classy timepiece is always a worthwhile investment. For me, I like casual watches. And so I have a few dress watches because you know there are weddings to go to and stuff like that, that you want a classier watch. But in general, I do like more rugged timepieces like field watches, dive watches, pilot watches. For most guys in their 20s, maybe you've bought watches before that are, you know, 20 to 60 bucks or whatever it is. But because men's watches are kind of the acceptable form of men's jewelry, the most like widely popular form of men's jewelry, if you invest a little bit into a high quality watch, you know, it just gives you that little extra air of refinement. The seventh and final absolutely critical thing you need before turning 30 is a shoe care cleaning kit. Now I've been building mine up, you know, piece by piece here and there. I have a link in the description below to one that's already pretty complete in and of itself. But basically as you're getting into your thirties, you know, hopefully your income's going up a little bit more than it was back in your college days. You start to get nicer quality footwear, you start to get nicer bags, things that require a little bit more care. By investing in a few essentials, like a horsehair brush, saddle soap, leather conditioner, and a few microfiber towels, basically you're ensuring that as you move forward, any leather bag you get, any leather shoes, any leather boots that you get, you can always take good care of them. If you're anything like me, throughout your 20s, you kind of bought something, you used it until it was completely destroyed, and then threw it away. Now, we both know that that's not a very sustainable way of living because it ends up costing more money in the long run. If you think about it, you get a $200 pair, uh, $200 pair of shoes and then you treat them really well and they last you know, seven years. Well, that's gonna do better than buying a cheaper $100 pair of shoes, wearing them out within two years and then doing the same thing over and over and over again. Small things like a leather care kit, it's not gonna just do well for your boots and shoes. It's gonna do well for everything you have. That's leather. Take good care of it. It's gonna last longer. You're gonna get way more value out of what you buy. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Now, I have links to different versions of these products down in the description below. So if you're interested, you can check those out. Also, if you'd like a more complete list of things that every guy should own to win at life, you can also head over to theadultman.com. I have a link in the description below. It's gonna take you to an article with a ton more great ideas for things that you can own to rock it. So until next time, stay manly.